Hi, this is Julie. In this short video, we're going to take a look at a couple of typical examples of problems that you might see related to identifying place value. So here's our first problem. This one asks us, what is the place value of the 3 in the number 271-836-904? So what this question is asking me is to find the 3 digit, and there's only one 3 in this number, so that makes it pretty easy, um, and figure out what place value that falls into. So there's a couple of ways I can do this, and the first is that I can use a place value chart. And if I'm going to use the place value chart, what I'm going to do is take this number, um, this very long number, and I'm going to line it up over the place value chart. And what I'm really going to line up is um, I want to make sure that the 4, because it's the last digit, um, ends up in the 1's place. So I'm going to put the 4 over the 1's place, I'm going to put the 0 over the 10's place, the uh, 9 over the hundreds place, and so on, and then I can see that the 3 ends up over the 10 thousands place. So to answer this question, I would say that the 10, or the 3, is in the 10 thousands place. Um, sometimes uh, people will answer this question by saying that the, the place value of the 3 is three ten thousands, and you can do that as well. Um, either answer here would be correct. So let's look at another example. Similar question. Um, this one asks us, what is the place value of the two in the number four three one nine two zero five six eight seven? So here's the two. Um, again, there's only one two in this number, so it's pretty easy. Um, this time I'm going to answer this question without using the place value chart. So um, I want to, I'll actually show you two ways that you can do this. One thing you can do is if you've kind of got the place values memorized, uh, you can start at the end of the number because I know that that 7 is going to be in the 1's place. And I can just sort of work backwards and, and sort of count the place values backwards from there. So I know 7 is in the 1's place, 8 is in the 10's place, 6 is in the 100's place, 5 is in the 1000's place, 0 is in the 10,000's place, and 2 is in the 100,000's place. So that's one way to do that. That tells me that the, um, the value here is 200,000's. Now another way that I could do this is um, I could take a look at where the 2 is and I could kind of imagine filling in just zeros for each digit that comes after that 2. And if I were to do that, um, you can see what I've done is I've written out the number 200,000. And so that's another way of kind of double checking or figuring out that the value of that 2, the place value of that 2, is the hundred thousands place and it represents a value of 200,000. So those are a couple of pretty common place value questions that you might see. Uh, in the next video we'll take a look at another concept related to place value which is expanded notation.